And it's college basketball at center stage tonight. The number five team in the country, Arizona Christian University, will take on Life Pacific College. The Warriors are here. And for ACU, a team that has not played a competitive game in 13 days. So they're excited to take the floor. The last time they were on the court, they beat San Diego Christian. They swept them in El Cajon. They won 100 to 64 in their last meeting. And they won before that 83 to 59. So this is a basketball team, again, ranked fifth in the country. They moved up from number six to number five. And for the Firestorm, 16 and two, entering play tonight, two and zero. Oh in the GSAC conference by virtue of those two wins in El Cajon just about almost two weeks ago. For Life Pacific College, they're led by Tim Cook in his fifth year. And for Life Pacific, the Warriors two and five overall, one and five in GSAC play. And for Tim Cook, his team has been absolutely besieged by COVID opt-outs, COVID challenges, and just overall attrition with this basketball team. So they're a bit short-handed here, and they will be without Pedro Leal Cruz here tonight. Their point guard will not be with the team, and it's just been a challenge. So who isn't challenged by COVID-19, right? That's the, the, the deal, and that is a thing, and that is something that both these squads and both these programs will have to continue to battle through uh, on a nightly basis. But it's... It's, uh, it's happening, and the fact that we're about ready to play a ball here tonight is just outstanding. Starters here for ACU. Again, COVID-19 rears its unfortunate scenario here for the Firestorm. They're out with three players. Angelo Johnson, Patrick Fisher, and Xavier Cooper all out due to challenges to COVID-19. They're quarantined, and we hope to get those youngsters back as soon as possible. So with that challenge, that means we have an opportunity here for other guys to come in here and get a chance to play and that means that we're going to get a shot from Kevon Williams tonight and Dominic Gonzalez those two guys will handle the point guard duties and then the tip is controlled by Life Pacific and here comes Xander Bowers to begin the game wide open in space he'll go in and throw it down with authority a slam dunk for that man 15 the X-Man Xander Bowers and we are underway here with limited fan participation it's 2-0 opening minute, and there's a three ball by Daniel Hernandez. Let's get you the starters for Jeff Rudder now in his ninth campaign. Dominic Gonzalez, Dom G, gets the start as six foot three, 175 pound freshman from Ironwood High School. He's a state champion. Deron Kyle, flight number five, 6'4", 176. He's a senior out of Phoenix College. He also gets the start in backcourt. Xander Bowers, you saw him already. Robbie Wilson gets the start, doesn't get that one, goes up strong again, and he's going to be hammered on his way up. Took a shot in the upper body that time. Robbie Wilson, also a starter. He'll wear 32, 6'9", 225, the senior from Pima Community College. And DG3, Darius Goudeau, 6'5", 210, at a Cal State San Marcos, also the starter here for Coach Rudder. It's Robbie Wilson to the foul line here for his first of two. Robbie Wilson, second on the team in scoring, 14.3 scoring average. 89% free throw shooter for Robbie Wilson. And the first one was up and good. It's 3-0 here. And the first minute of action inside the event center. Robbie Wilson hits the next free throw. And just like that, the Firestorm have built a 4-0 lead here. Starters for Life Pacific College, Jimmy Rodriguez, a post player at 6 foot 7. He's a sophomore from Bishop Amat High School. Daniel Hernandez, a wing player at 6 foot 4. He had the touch right there. Travis Jackson, a forward at 6'3". He's a freshman from Riverside. And then Kyler Villarreal. Villarreal. And Villarreal, a 6'5", junior from Walla Walla Community Cowboys. He got the bucket right there. And then Adam Saavedra. Saavedra, a 6'4", senior from Chino High School. And there's Deron Kyle lining up a triple and hitting the three-point basket. Sharp shooting there for DK5. Nice start for the leading score for this basketball team. A 17.2 scoring average for Kyle. That's just outside the top five in the GSAC Conference. He's got to be sixth in scoring in the Golden State Athletic Conference. It's good to have Deron Kyle back. Last time we were here in the arena, he was nursing at bulky knee. So with a fresh cut for Deron Kyle and a healthy Lower half, the lower extremities are 
strong and in good shape there. Now there's a near steal by the Warriors. Adam Salvedra getting his length in there, contesting the passing lane, if you will. 21 seconds on the shot clock. 16 and 2 for Jeff Rudder's club. The Firestorm have won three in a row. A left wing three for Dominic Gonzalez. That shot would go. Grabbing that offensive board or the rebound was Jimmy Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Jimmy on. Put the ball in the hands of Ethan Galong. Galong will get extended minutes here tonight. He's a six foot four freshman. He's a forward from Roland High School. Galong from downtown. That one's no good. Darius Cadeau gets the rebound. Quickly puts the ball in the hands of Deron Kyle. Up ahead they go to Dominic Gonzalez. Back to Kyle. Nice ball movement. Goudot fake the three in a triple threat position there. Back to Kyle. Catch and shoot and hit the long three-pointer. Devon Kyle is two for two from behind the arc. And the Firestorm are starting off this game red hot from the floor. Tend the two is the lead. There's a mid-range jumper there from Jimmy Rodriguez. Life Pacific College is going to get run out of the building here and they don't take some patience with their offense and set things up. Robbie Wilson from the parking lot and he too hits the triple. The Firestorm are perfect from downtown to start this basketball game. Timeout on the court taken by Life Pacific College. 17-15 to go in this opening half. It's 13-2 Firestorm. We'll take a quick timeout. You are watching ACU Basketball on the Firestorm Broadcast Network. Join you inside the event center, 13 to two, our score. Out of backcourt, that was Travis Jackson. And Jackson lost it, and it will go out of bounds. That's a turnover. ACU, 75% from three-point range. Dom G did hit, missed his first triple of the ball game, but DK5 has hit two in a row since then, and Robbie Wilson hit that one just before the timeout. So three for the last four for ACU. Now it's Dominic Gonzalez on the inbound here. To the X-Man, and the X-Man from right there in the middle of the paint with a soft little J, and that shot is good, 15 to two. First four minutes into this thing, and the Firestorm are just ripping the cords on everything. That's a bucket there by Adam Saavedra. Saavedra hits that one. Robbie Wilson spots up, shoots another three. That one rattled out, no good. Tough break there, that's the second miss from behind the line for ACU in a 15 to four ball game here. We are just getting started. These two teams will take on each other here tonight and then they'll play again tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock again right here inside the event center. With that call, let's introduce to you our NAIA officiating crew here this evening. Marcus Hicks, Joel Myers, and that was Spoon, Brandon Witherspoon with that last call there against ACU at the free throw line for Life Pacific, Ethan Galong. Galong out of Tino Hills, California. So for Galong, playing now in his fifth game, he's perfect from the free throw line as he hit his first one here. He's now eight for eight on this season, a 6.3 scoring average. Next one's on the way. This one's no good. It's an interesting, each time you mention someone's perfect, and the next shot was not good. And Kamong to the bench, my bad. He's now eight of nine in free throws this season. Here's Darius Goudeau in between the rings with it. Made a move on Kamong, and Kamong is gonna get his hands in there for a reach-in foul. Now we got a bunch of changes here for head coach Jeff Rudder. Paul Hayden, number 14, on the court for the first time here. He'll be joined by Bryce Davis and Kevon Williams. Kevon should get some extended minutes here tonight. Here's Davis down the lane, and as Davis gets in deep, he's going to be grabbed and fouled down low. 23 up with a personal foul. Kyler Villarreal 
for Villarreal. That'll be his first personal foul. And it's 15 to five here as Davis has earned a trip to the foul line for two free throws. Bryce Davis now playing in his 11th game of the season. He's a 64% shooter from the free throw line. Missing the first. Davis 9.8 scoring average just below that 10 point threshold. Four players in double digits for Jeff Rudder in a 20, 21 campaign. With the rock right there with Saavedra. Down in the paint and scoring it. Plus one, Jimmy Rodriguez. Jimmy Rodriguez, a six foot seven post player from South El Monte, California, with a and one here, 16 to 7, 15, 52 to go. Jimmy Rodriguez playing in his fifth game, a 45% free throw shooter. Gets the and one at 16 to 8. Life Pacific has cut the lead in half. It's Bryce Davis down low to Robbie Wilson. His shot was blocked. Good defense there on the baseline by Silvedra. Silvedra with the block. And now from behind there, Paul Hayden sticks his hands in there. And now we got a steal. And here's Deron Kyle. He tried to get that pass there in the air and one arm it to Robbie Wilson. And for the Life Pacific squad, they were there to contest the pass and this time they step on the end line on the far sideline Joel Myers right there to make the call as Adam Saavedra stepped on the end line that's a turnover and the Firestorm will get the basketball back up by eight here 16 to eight 16 and two for ACU winners of three straight Paul Hayden from three-point range taken in for the baseline and he'll score Paul Hayden with a real impressive offensive move right there to score it off the window. Five minutes in, it's 18-8. Step back three for Saavedra. Not going to go. Here comes Kevon Williams. That one might have been partially blocked. Now it's Paul Hayden quickly into the hands of Deron Kyle. Deron Kyle, the leading scorer on this team. Now they go. The beautiful thing about Davis is you've got this outside and this inside-outside presence. It's that three-pointer for DK5 does it go. It rimmed out. Firestorm with three for six from three-point range. Down on, on the low block. This is Jimmy Rodriguez, and we get a travel call right there. Joel Myers there to make the call, and now coming in for Life Pacific College will be Kofi Abagai. Abagai. Interesting name there from Accra Ganal at Hawaii Pacific University. Kofi Abogai has checked in. Now it's Kevon Williams to Bryce Davis. Defending Bryce Davis was kind of via Real. There's a three-point shot by Paul Hayden, and it would go, but he hustles down to get that rebound, and he saves it into the hands of the Warriors. Here comes Abogai in deep, trying to get a pass on that baseline. It was poked away there by the quick hands from Devon Kyle, 18-8. Five minutes and 58 seconds into the first half here. The Firestorm have a 10-point lead. Great crew here for you tonight. Our technical producer is James Craigle. On camera number one is Jessica Farmer. And T. Waters is manning camera number two. T. Waters from the Rusty Rogers basketball team. And here comes the Warriors. It's Adam Saavedra with the reverse on the fast break transition basket there by the Warriors. And Coach Rudder would like to shore up his defense and he will take a quick timeout and get into the discussion of accountability right now. He is a little bit animated with the conversation here about the defense. Robbie Wilson understands. He can see the head bob from him, but you can see Coach Rudder just a little bit agitated as he addressed the team during that timeout, just a quick timeout. He got his message across, and then the camp broke up. 13.46 to go in quarter number one. Let's get you three in the key here for Life Pacific College. They want to shoot it well. They want to handle the ACU pressure, and they want to play excellent team defense. Three in the key for Tim Cook and the Warriors of Life Pacific. Three in the key for 
TC Trey Clarkson and the Arizona Christian University Firestorm. They want to guard the paint inside out attack and attack that paint. Here comes Paul Hayden with the hesitation. Good handwork there inside by Jimmy Rodriguez. Now it's Bryce Davis to the X-Men. Xander Bowers, 12 to shoot. Rifles a pass to Paul Hayden, reverse layup good. Paul Hayden moving exceptionally well without the basketball and Xander Bowers with the great find and a great pass as he just drilled that pass in there with his left arm and that was just beautiful. Paul Hayden with the finish there on the reverse. There's a three-pointer attempt by Salvatore, no good. Davis grabs another rebound over to Deron Cobb to Bryce Davis, top of the key three and that one is no good. Bowers fights for the board and he gets the rebound. Back to Bryce Davis. Bryce Davis makes a move, he'll take it in and he'll lay it up and score it. Bryce Davis beating Jimmy Rodriguez on the dribble drive and the finish off the window for Bryce Davis. The big man with some moves right there for Bryce Davis. 22 to 10, 12.40 to go. Abagai now with the handles at right wing, defending him at arm's length was Kevon Williams. There's a shot from the far side by Rodriguez, no good. Here comes Key to T. Deron Kyle, and again, good hand work there by Ethan Galong. As Deron Kyle, with some great minutes there, will sit down here for a moment. Kevon Williams also will sit down. Dominic Gonzalez back on for ACU. Darius Goodell has returned for the Firestorm. 22 to 10. Now it's Darius Goodell at Dominic Gonzalez. Little step back at the three-point range. Now it's Davis again. Davis looks right with the handles. Gives the ball to Paul Hayden. He'll step inside the arc, shoot it, and hit it from 18 feet away. Paul Hayden. Boy, Paul Hayden, the pride of Sunny Slope High, is emerging. And his skill set is really nice. And he's just a good player, and he plays the game the right way. And he's got some skills to him. Nice defense on the baseline there by ACU Sander Bowers. 15 to shoot. Three-pointer right in front of the Firestorm bench. Wouldn't go there for Adam Vasquez. Here comes Bryce Davis. He'll bring it up past the timeline for the Firestorm. He'll wear number 24. He sees the opening. He'll take it in. He'll score it, and he's fouled on the play. How about Bryce Davis with the handles out front, the hesitation, the drive to the 10, and the bucket good plus one. Bryce Davis. He saw that crease, went right of the paint, and then just took it in, and he was hacked to the act. 26-10, free throw upcoming here for Bryce Davis. Outstanding play. Davis, again, we mentioned, a 64% free throw shooter. See if he can't hit the free throw here on this one. Free throw's on the way, and that's good. A three-point play there for Bryce Davis. Nice effort there for the big fella. Bryce Davis now with six points and a couple of rebounds. Five players have scored for Coach Rudder here in this first half in a 27-10 ball game. Savandra gets the ball down low to Malachi Jensen. Kai, they call him. Malachi Jensen working around a screen. That was Savandra. Feed the right wing, catch it, shoot a three, and bury it is Connor Villarreal. The answer for Life Pacific College. They get their 13th point of the ball game here at the 11-14 mark of the first half. Now it's Davis. Davis whips a pass to Darius Gino off a screen. Let that rainbow three go, and that one hit the side iron. No good. Villarreal with a rebound. Put the ball in the hands of Adam Vasquez. Gets it right back to Villarreal. Paul Hayden has the defensive assignment on him. And losing it, and the ball went out of bounds for a minute. That's a turnover by Kyler Villarreal out of Othello, Washington. And the good defense right there and the good handwork from Paul Hayden as Bryce Davis sits down. Bryce Davis with that size is a huge get for ACU basketball. You have to credit Josh Cole and friends for getting that young man here. And how about the development of Bryce Davis at the high school level by head coach Chad Dunn from Deer Valley. That is just an outstanding get, 6 7 two, 20. And here comes Life Pacific College. It's Kofi Abagai with the stuff. He got free, and there was nobody there to defend him. Abagai with the jam. And now the defense there by the Warriors. That one's poked away from Dominic Gonzalez. Clock will stop at 10.21 to go in the opening half. 23 seconds on the shot clock here. And Ethan Galong up off the bench for Tim Cook. 
Tim Cook assisted by Jade Holland and Angelo Sandoval. Now we get a whistle here from Marcus Hicks from the baseline. DK5 got hammered in the act of shooting. Saavedra picks up the personal foul for Saavedra. That's just his first at Ochino High School. Mike Navarre, former ACU player. Mike Navarre at Ochino Hills. I want to say Jackson Helms, maybe. Nah, Jackson's from the Seattle, Washington area, I believe. But how about it? Some really, really solid players and some great young men that Jeff Rutter recruited. I believe that Jackson Holmes and Mike Navarre were the first ever recruits for Coach Rutter, if memory serves. A couple of changes for Tim Cook. Newton Acevedo has checked in. Acevedo, a freshman from West Covina, California, on the floor. On the inbound right there was Kofi Abagai. Abagai, the last time he had the rock in his hands, he flushed one. Now it's Vasquez. And now we're getting free in the paint was Ethan Galong, the six foot four freshman active here as he just checked in. 28 15 our score. The Firestorm shooting 55% from the floor here early on, 33% downtown. They hit, they missed their first one, hit three in a row, and they haven't hit one since. The Firestorm are three of nine from three point range here. This is Abogai. He took a shot from way behind the line. Now it's no good. Here comes Deron Kyle. He gets the rebound. He wants to go coast to coast. And as Deron Kyle goes up strong, he gets whacked. Abo guy is right there. I think DK5 might have taken a shot towards the head area. So keep an eye on Deron Kyle as he shakes the cobwebs off after that foul. That's a hard foul there for Abo guy. And for Abo guy, that'll be his first. Oh, this? Yeah. That free throw is up and good. Both teams have three steals in as Devon Kyle waits for his second free throw attempt. It's on the way, and that one's all money. Devon Kyle with nine points for the Firestorm. Devon is three for four from the free throw line. Two or three from the floor. This is Newton Acevedo to Galong. Galong right wing triple is all nylon as Galong hits the shots, 30 to 18. 12 point lead for ACU. Robbie Wilson is back on. There's Deron Kyle. Gets the ball down low to Robbie Wilson. Robbie goes up strong. Couldn't get the left. Thought he was fouled. No call there. Acevedo comes away with the rock for Life Pacific College. Hard to imagine. Six COVID opt outs for Tim Cook. That's just. Uh, difficult to deal with. Abogai down low, and Abogai with the basket there as he's working on Robbie Wilson. Nice little move there. Got in deep there in the low block and finished it just around Robbie Wilson. Here comes down to Catellus. Out left wing, it's Deron Kyle. Skip it down inside to Robbie Wilson. Robbie goes up strong again, can't get the shot. He's having a tough time now down low, but he's had some good looks. Just can't get the shots to go down. Ten point advantage now is Paul Hayden. The, what looks to be the sixth man right now for HCU is going to be checking in in the next timeout. Galong, jump pass, back to Acevedo. He'll shoot it from three. This one missed everything. To Deron Kyle, to Robbie Wilson, length of the court pass. And it's Robbie Wilson underneath. They're going to wave off the shot. But a good look there by Deron Kyle, a great find for him. He talked about a length of the court pass, and that just was below the eve here, if you will, the of the arena inside the event center, almost at the apex of the, the roof here. That ball was just below that. In fact, you can't play volleyball inside this arena just because of the height of the ceiling. So Robbie Wilson will have a chance at a one and one here, and he hits the first one. That's a make on free throw number one, 31 20, our score. Robbie Wilson now has six points, but he's one of six from the floor. Kyler Villarreal leads Life Pacific with five points. Five players have scored for Tim Cook. There's a jumper there from 
Malachi Jensen, a left-handed shooter. Ziron Kyle, back to Robbie Wilson. Robbie Wilson sides up a straightaway three, and straight in all nylon for Robbie Wilson. RW hits the super shot of the NAIA, and it's now 35-20, Storm by 15. That's Kofi Abogai. He gets it back. Put the ball in the hands of Saavedra. He shoots a three. Good gamble there by Sandra Bowers. He's looking to steal it and stuff it. Robbie Wilson at three-point range. He goes behind the back with it. Trying to back them on Malachi Jensen. His skip across, trying to get the ball into the hands of Dom G and was stolen there. Good defense that time. A very alert play there. Now here comes Sandra Bowers. He does steal it this time. He'll go in and he'll score it. That little hesitation, he thought he was fouled on the play, and he scoops it in off the window and scoring it. 17-point advantage here for the Five Storm. Remember, these two teams will do battle again tomorrow afternoon in a matinee contest at 2 o'clock. We'll have all the action for you here on the Five Storm Broadcast Network. Galal misfires in the corner. He thought he was fouled. Here comes Paul Hayden. Bounce it to Robbie Wilson. Robbie Wilson now starting to feel it just a little bit. For Wilson, he's got nine points, even though he's had a tough night shooting. And there is Deron Kyle as he gets his shot swatted. Kofi Abogai playing with some energy. He got up there in the grill of Deron Kyle and sent that one back. Impressive block shot there. 6.57 to go in the first half. 16 seconds on the shot clock. We will take a timeout. I believe that Life Pacific College took the timeout. It's a full timeout, and we will take the timeout with them. You're watching ACU Basketball on the Firestone Broadcast Network. back inside the event center it's 37 to 20. the firestorm shooting lights out here and playing very good but I, I have to give some credit to Tim Cook and Life Pacific University they're battling despite all their challenges they came here to play and uh, they might be a little bit undermanned but either way they are here to play basketball here Live Pacific College with 7 and 21 last year. They went 3 and 15 in the conference. That's a, a difficult process to win basketball games in the GSAC with the likes of Westmont and Open National, Masters College, TMU, ACU, National Championship contender this year in hoops under Jeff Rudder. There's a little jumper there for the baseline for Devon Kyle, and it would go. Grabbing that rebound was Adam Vasquez. Out of backcourt, it's Villarreal. Over to Abogai. Abogai in between the circles now. Over to Saavedra. Saavedra being defended there by Bryce Davis. Davis on the court with Kevon Williams, Robbie Wilson, Paul Hayden, and Deron Kyle. Right wing, triple, no good. Villarreal gets the rebound. He'll go up over Paul Hayden. He can't get it. Tip up Abogai, no good, and Hayden gets the rebound. Outlet it to Robbie, to Kevon. Williams over to Robbie Wilson, and Robbie Wilson lost the handle on it. Robbie a little frustrated with the results of his play, but he's certainly playing at a high level, Robbie Wilson. Ten points for Robbie. Imagine the two for seven shooting from the four, but he is four for four from the free throw line. He's got ten points, and that leads all scores for ACU. Saavedra down low, laid up, and missing that one. Unfortunately for Vasquez. Keep on with the rebound to Wilson. Up ahead to Deron Kyle, to Bryce Davis for the alley-oop, and the two-handed jam. DK5 to Bryce Davis with the two-handed jam off the oop. And ACU now leads it 39-20, up by 19, their largest lead here of the evening. Villarreal working on Kevon Williams. He knocked him down, can't get the shot. Paul Hayden there to contest. Back to Kevon. To the left wing from way downtown is 
Devon Kyle, offense rebound for Kewan Williams. Give it to TK5. He'll go up there and he'll try to feather it in there with that left hand, and the ball gets stuck. It gets wedged between the glass and the rim there, which means that'll be a dead ball, and typically they just go to the possession arrow for that. Abogai on the court. When they do go to the possession arrow, the alternating possession arrow, it reads ACU basketball. So the rich get richer here in this case. Kevon Williams. Kevon Williams. He'll shoot it, and he can't get that. He might have been stuck in no man's land with a three-second lane violation there. or just threw that one up. Abagai around Davis. And Mr. Witherspoon, Brandon Witherspoon, with the call. That was a silly foul for Bryce Davis as he tried to make a play there. Can't fault Davis for trying to make a play. But from where he was at, he was going to slow down the ball handler. 39-20. Right wing triple. That one's good. Daniel Hernandez. Hernandez. Good looking shot for Daniel Hernandez. Here's Darius Godot to Kevon Williams to Dominic Gonzalez. They want to go down low to Bryce Davis. Here's Darius Godot. His three is no good. Darius. Coach Rudder asking and, and saying, stating what his command is. Inside out, inside out. Goudeau 0 for 2 from the floor, 0 for 2 from three-point range. There's Saavedra, his three-pointer's no good. Rimmed out. Kevon Williams with a rebound. Good pass of the hands of Paul Hayden. Paul Hayden at three-point range feeds Kevon Williams. Nice pass down to Bryce Davis. Bryce Davis turns around, and he'll go into the paint, and he'll lay it up and score just like that, Bryce Davis. Bryce Davis with eight points, give the assist to Kevon Williams. Pretty pass play for him. And it's 41-23 with 4.17 to go. Hernandez to Abagai. Abagai being defended there by Paul Hayden. Great defense by Paul Hayden on the baseline. And now there's a steal. No, it was a near steal. Paul Hayden with great handwork. Villarreal now at right wing. Four to shoot behind the back. Kevon drapes all over him, pokes it away. and. They'll put one second on the shot clock. Joel Myers right there, Marcus Hicks and Mr. Witherspoon all agreed put one second on the shot clock. Life Pacific Collins will have to inbound it. They do have a chance to get a shot up. They need about seven to eight tenths of a second to get a shot up, and Abagai will be the passer. He gets it to Hernandez from the corner as the shot clock expires, and they'll blow it dead. It'll be a shot clock violation, and now ace to you will inbound it on the far side. Ethan Galong has checked in here for Life Pacific College. Where are you watching tonight's game from? Tweet us at KDB Voice. And go to Twitter. Tweet us at KDB Voice. Hashtag roll call. Where are you watching tonight's game from around the great state 48 or around the globe? There is Godot right in front of the Warriors bench. Back to Davis. Davis turns around and surveys. Back to Godot. 10 to shoot. Straight up with that shot, no good. Villarreal gets the rebound. Tyler Villarreal, good chest pass to Daniel Hernandez. Now they go down to Saavedra. Saavedra makes a move into the paint. He'll score it, and he's fouled on the play. I think Kevon Williams there picks up the foul there on Saavedra. Saavedra, the leading scorer for the Warriors, 12.3 scoring average. Free throw up and good. 3.18 to go till halftime. Deron Kyle will come in. Bryce Davis will sit down. Good minutes there for Bryce Davis. 41 to 26. HCU has the lead. Kyle to Dominic Gonzalez, flash in the middle with Xander Bowers. Back to Robbie Wilson. We want Kyle's wide open. It'll be Darius Godot shooting a three and hitting a three. DG three from behind the line. Darius Godot. Nice looking shot from Darius Godot. It's 44 26, 252 to go until halftime. Down low underneath 
is Malachi Jensen. And here comes Deron Kyle. Nice no look to Dominic Gonzalez. As Dominic Gonzalez goes in, he's going to be hit pretty hard there on his way up. What a no look pass there by Deron Kyle. That was a pretty pass. Deron Kyle, he's got a lot of athleticism. And he is a fun, fun player to watch run up and down the hardwood here. He is a playmaker extraordinaire. Deron Kyle. Robbie Wilson leads the GSAC conference in field goal percentage at 62%. He gets a lot of mileage and he does a lot of damage down in the paint. Dominic Gonzalez next free throw. It's up. And that one's good. 46 26. Even 20 point advantage here for the Firestorm. The Warriors began their COVID campaign on, on a four game slide. They lost their first four. That three would go for Daniel Hernandez. Here comes Deron Kyle with a rebound. Chest pass to Darius Guido. Trying to get the ball down low to Robbie Wilson. And Malachi Jensen's trying to defend Robbie Wilson. That's a mismatch if they get that way. As Gonzalez gets free, he'll take it in. He just missed the layup. He tried to set it in and just that one rolled off the rim. Wouldn't go for him. Vasquez to Saavedra. Nice little move on Xander Bowers. Pull up at the free throw line. That shot's blocked. Xander Bowers with that length and athleticism blocked the shot of Saavedra at the free throw line. That was a tremendous play there by Xander Bowers. Down low to Robbie Wilson. Jensen continues to defend him. Robbie Wilson uses that body as his. Turn around, can't get the shot. Another tough break. He thought he was fouled again. Frustration for Robbie Wilson. Saavedra makes the pass to Galong. The leader in blocks on this team is Xander Bowers. That was block number 19 for the X-Men. As Galong scores for Life Pacific. 46-28. Pretty good crowd on hand here for both squads. With the metrics, the COVID metrics around State 48, some of the numbers are changing. Some of the numbers are improving, which means that the idea with the vaccine that's readily available for some, and the idea of continuing to mask up and try to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, you've got a limited fan base, but the fans are coming back as that three-pointer would go. Here comes down to Gonzalez around the screen from Robbie Wilson. And he makes a nice move. He'll shoot it from the free throw line. This one is no good. Tough night shooting for down to Gonzalez, but it's a great look for him. And the ball just wouldn't go down. But he's got great touch as a shooter. Three by Malachi Jensen, no good. Gudo with a rebound. Out to Gonzalez. Bounce it to a streaking Xander Bowers. And Bowers would have gotten that pass and he would have taken it in and done some damage with that. Acevedo now will walk with the basketball and that shot's waved off. Newton Acevedo, a 5'11 freshman point guard from West Covina. Coach Rudder, he's just, uh, he's, he's not excited about how his team's playing right now. And now we get an offensive foul for Dominic Gonzalez. So Joel Myers very animated with the foul call right in front of us. Presenting the cinematography for you here. That was Jessica Farmer. Jessica is on the soccer team. She gets it done on the pitch for the Firestorm. 46-28, final 30 here inside the event center. We approach the intermission here tonight. That you can spend part of your evening with us on the Firestorm Broadcast Network. Kevin Derry Bear with you. Hope you enjoy tonight's game. The Firestorm will shoot lights out here. And now that's going to be a turnover for Life Pacific College. And ACU will get the ball back with 9.3 seconds to go. For the Warriors, they have 11 turnovers to just eight for ACU. Goudeau will inbound it to Dominic Gonzalez. Here's Dominic, even for Goudeau. Goudeau will buy up a three. That one's not going to go. Getting the rebound is Daniel Hernandez. The heave at half court is no good. Triple zeros on the scoreboard here inside the event center. It's 46-28 at the intermission. 
Chase. We will seek conversation with one of our assistant coaches. If we can make that happen, we'll bring them up right after the break. If not, stay with us for all of our halftime festivities. Coming up next, you're watching HCU Basketball on the